everyone, cool, I guess here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Bloom's Tower Defense uh, Battles 2. So, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get Melon Loader. Now, uh, here, say if you already have Melon Loader. Uh, melon Loader, if you don't know what it does, Melon Loader is a loading process that uh, allows certain all well not every unity game obviously but most unity games to be modded easily for other modders to mod that game so like say a game doesn't like you don't uh, a creator doesn't want the game to be modded D this is what melon loader helps with modding a game that the developers did not intend the game to be modded with so that's how you mod balloons tower defense six and stuff like that so if you were scared now here I already have stuff, but that doesn't matter. So here's the melon loader. Now, you can just do this, like, you can do automated, then hit select, and you will go into this PC and uh, do whatever your thing is. Mine is Acer. Then you're going to want to go down to program files, 86x. Scroll down, Steam, then you're going to scroll down more, so then you're going to find Steam Apps, Common, Bl uh, Balloons Tower Defense Battles 2, then hit Balloons Tower Defense 2 Battles. Now you're going to click this game, hit Open, and then you're going to hit Install. Right here it says Reinstall because I've already made a video, but it was trash. So, then... Once you do that, you will go on to Steam. Then you're going to hit this little gear icon, Manage. And then go scroll down to Manage, Browse Local Files, you click on that. Then you get a file that will pop up on your screen, or not a file, a folder. And uh, this is what you should see. The game data, mel uh, game data, Melon Loader, and Mods are the three new folders that Melon Loader added. So then what you're going to want to do is go into mods and you should, yeah, everything here works. And here are two mods that I have downloaded right here. Hypersonic towers and instant modifier. You want, what do you want to do is, so see this folder all the way over here that my cursor's on. You'll, if you have a processing or a unpackaging product, I have something called WinRAR. WinRAR is good for unpacking files. WinRAR, you um, you just right click it and then it'll extract, pull up a screen, extract here into the folder. Then, once you have all of that, uh, then it should look like this. Nice, quick, and easy. Now, you will see in the description, I put a couple links. One link will be for the official Discord server. Well, it's not official, but it's a disc it's the only Discord server with BTB Battles 2 mods currently. And you'll see this, the mod guide. So, yeah, you're probably wondering, why are you making this video if you could have just done this? Well, first of all, oh okay, yeah, also, this is only for Windows and Linux. You can't do it for, like, Mac, so sorry. Anyways, well, you look, so you can just skip all this crap. None of this really matters. I mean, unless you, I couldn't describe it good enough, but look. So you're going to click here for download, so you can download the API, then download, and then click here for downloading the uh, base. Those are two separate downloads. Oh yeah, and when they're um, on the top right, it will say the file is harmful, so like if I click here, it will pop up on the top right, and it will say that this is bad. Hit keep. And then hit show more, and then keep anyways, and then it will download it. But I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. But then, once you do that, you're going to go back into your mods, and put the base in your mods folder. Then, so your your API will be known as this, this folder, the Winit folder. When you download it, drag it to your battles 2 folder not the mods folder just drag it into the here the battles 2 folder 
and then it will be named as Winit. Then once you do all that, you download the mods you want, you put them in here, and then once you do that, you open the uh, BTD Battles 2, and it should pop up this black screen with text. Now, it, for me, it just crashed. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's right here. And what this does, and currently, uh, yeah, if you try to open it without the API, I'll say, API loaded, no. And I did everything correctly, but as you see on the official Discord, or semi-official, if you go to the mods, or no, if you go to their area, if you go to their main, like, area in general of uh, their, I can't speak today, updates. Ah, so basically, it nothing. The mods don't work anymore. Well, not anymore. They're they're the 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 mods are trying their best to fix it, but the API is broken for some reason, due to a new update from uh, Ninja Kiwi. So, yeah. But if you go down, or no, you go all the way to the top, announcements. Version 1.0.6 broke the API, so that means that mods are not going to work for now. Don't worry, this is not permanent. But your game would normally open up perfectly, and you would have mods. So, that was the Balloon Star Defense 6 modding Discord, or modding in general, full, in under 5 minutes. Of one, The last 2 minutes here have been just me stuttering, and telling you that the mods don't work yet. I, and, uh, I'll put the official Discord and everything in my description. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe.